Hi, I'm Frank McCreary, CEO at Aptable. And today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our product. Aptable is a platform built for software developers, helping them easily deploy their applications into the cloud while meeting stringent security and compliance requirements. Aptable handles the enforcement and reporting of security controls so that developers can focus on building software. What you're seeing here is the Aptable web interface, as well as some of the commands available in the Aptable CLI. Together with the Aptable API and our Terraform adapters, this is how customers interact with the platform. Now, most customers start on Aptable by deploying their own web application, but for this demo, I'm going to show what's involved in setting up Redash, a popular business intelligence tool on top of Aptable. The first thing that I'm gonna do is create the databases that I need to support my application. Redash needs to connect to a data warehouse as well as Redis to manage its settings caches. And so I've created a Postgres and a Redis database here. I can create additional databases just by clicking Create Database, selecting the open source database technology I need, scaling to the initial scale that I need for this container, both in terms of container footprint and disk size, each of which are very easy to scale later on. And after I create it, the Aptable platform handles all configuration, maintenance, and uptime for the database going forward. Now, to get the Redash application deployed on Aptable, I have a couple options. I can push my code to a Git remote. Uh, in other words, take the Git code base and push it directly to Aptable, and Aptable will build the Docker image. Or I can push a Docker image directly to Aptable. Because I've already built a Docker image for Redash, I'm going to go ahead and use that approach. So what I'm going to do is go back to the Aptable CLI, run Aptable Deploy with this specific app name, the Docker image that I'm looking to deploy, and then some secret environment variables for the Redis URL and the database URL of the two databases that I just configured. As this operation completes, I can visit the Endpoints tab for this app and use uh, an automated endpoint with an Aptable domain or a custom endpoint. I happen to have created a custom endpoint here already, so I'm going to visit that. And when I do, I see that my app is already ready to use. I can start using Redash to create new queries. I can see all of my uh, schemas in the data warehouse here. And that's how easy Aptable makes it to get my web application deployed in the cloud. You'll notice that during the entire setup process, I didn't mention or have to think about security. But very quickly looking into what Aptable provides, we see that Aptable is automating many important security features under the hood. So for databases, where Aptable is managing disk encryption at rest, automated backups on a customizable backup retention schedule, replication and high availability, and complete activity reporting of every change that's made to the infrastructure, both by Aptable and by team members. For apps, Aptable is managing everything related to endpoints, including encryption and transit, load balancing, automated management of the TLS certificate, including renewal, and things like IP whitelisting. Aptable is also automating vulnerability scanning. So every time a new image is pushed to Aptable, Aptable scans for any dependency vulnerabilities at the operating system level. Aptable also provides everything that I need for DevOps as this application develops and matures easy scalability from any interface, the web, the CLI, Terraform, metrics right here in the dashboard, real-time streaming logs, if I'm using the Aptable CLI, and direct connectivity to the resources that are running on Aptable, either via SSH or database tunnels. 
And so from uh, from the UI, I can also integrate with any providers that I'm using for logging or metrics. I can easily create a log drain to send to any major logging provider, and I can connect to metrics providers so that I have advanced or long-term storage uh, of the logs and metrics that I need for observability. Where this all comes together is in the security and compliance dashboard that Aptable provides. Here, I can see my compliance status in real time across the frameworks that I need to comply with. Here, I'm seeing this for HIPAA and high trust, and I can filter this to just the environments that I care about. So I'm gonna look at just the Redash environment that I've just created. Most controls are automatically enforced by Aptable, which means that there's no way for me to disable or misconfigure them. That's a big part of the value of the platform. For any of these automatically enforced controls, I can drill in to see exactly what Aptable is doing in terms of how the control is implemented, which compliance frameworks it's relevant to. I can access documentation that provides more information and detail on how the control is enforced. And I can access a detailed control description that's ready to be copied and pasted uh, to share with an auditor or in response to a vendor security questionnaire. And for the controls that aren't automatically enforced by Aptable, it's an easy process to get to green. So taking a look at the high availability app deployment control, I can see which of my apps and which services don't have HA set up already. And I can also see that the process for enabling HA is very easy. All I need to do is to scale the process to two or more containers. So looking at this list of services, I'm gonna make a decision that only the ad hoc worker service really needs high availability. That's the part that's running important jobs in the background. And for this particular application, I'm gonna ignore that I don't have HA set up for the rest. And going back to the, uh, the UI on the Aptable dashboard, I'm gonna go into my Redash app. I'm gonna scale my ad hoc worker to two containers. And after that completes, I'll be able to go back to the, the security and compliance dashboard, rerun the check and see that this control has now gone to green. So I'll give this a few seconds to complete scaling. And go back to the security and compliance dashboard, rerun, and I see that it's green. And now the overall control is at 100%. In addition to these automated and easily enforceable security controls, Aptable offers some premium controls that are available for an additional subscription fee. These controls, like network intrusion detection, are not required by HIPAA or even necessary to have a strong baseline security program. But I, uh, as the Aptable customer, may seek to put them in place as my security program matures or as my customers demand. Aptable makes this really easy. All I need to do is upgrade to unlock the security control and it becomes immediately available. Once I'm happy with the status of my security and compliance posture, I can easily export a printable summary that includes the security control descriptions that we saw before, as well as the implementation status for every control. And I can take this uh, this report and share it with an auditor or a trusted customer. And that's Aptable in 10 minutes. Easily deploy your applications to the cloud, meet stringent security requirements, and focus on building software instead of spending engineering time on compliance. Thank you.